Hello, fellas. This is your homeboy, the E Hero. Well, this is a trade binder update video. Sadly to say, I have been forced to take my deck material making cards and put them in the trade book so I can say goodbye to the deck. It's the only thing I want to try to do to make some money. <sighs> Once again, since people trade by price, I have a hard time getting cards I need. So I had to break away from the deck selling thing, put that on hold, and put them in my trade stuff. So this is a short video about the new stuff I put in the book. Uh, if y'all check my previous videos, y'all know which one is new. And every once in a while, I'll, part, I'll probably point out some of the new stuff in here. The Gladder Beast, Gladder Beast Fusion is new. The Cyber Dragon stuff, let me go back to the burst piece, I can show you again. Alright. Gladder Beast is new. The Cyber Dragon stuff is new, and Cyber Dark Dragon, the Vehicle Ray is new, the Sunny Moon Dragon is new, uh, the Watt Chimera is new, the Road Warriors, I just, all the stuff I just put in here that I had sitting in the book bag, uh, the Black Wings are new, uh, that's the Rod King Hides, uh, Well, while I'm doing a lot of this, I'm going to explain to y'all, like, what's going on here. Well, as you all know, I hate when people trade by price. One of the things that's getting on my nerves is the fact that I'm trying to be patient in this game. I really am. I'm trying to just sit back, kick it, relax, have fun, and try to make some new decks. But how can you make a new deck if you can't get the cards that you need? Because people are putting prices on everything. Yeah, people, they put prices on pieces of paper made by trees. And then people actually spend money on this stuff. I'm trying to sit here and get cards that I need to make new decks. But when it comes to trading my price, it, it kind of just, just puts a, a straight up halt on that. I can't get nothing because cards are worth money. I can't even get a freaking Rainbow Dark Dragon because the card is worth money. So if I don't have the card money cards to get it or cards people are looking for, I can't get Rainbow Dark Dragon. Hence... I remember my Rainbow Nails that would never get finished. Can't even finish my Evil Hero deck because I can't find the Doom Caliber Knights and people won't trade them because the card is worth money. What I hate the most is that people have cards in their binder that they don't trade, they don't sell, it just sits there because it looks cool. If I'm willing to offer you a card for it, why won't you trade it? That's, that's just stupid. The only reason why I have a collection of hero stuff is because I said it already. It's the collection. It's something nice to have to show off to people. Something just to say that I'm collecting them. I know a lot of people that collect cards, so am I wrong for being able to collect stuff? Now, this different is you're collecting something I understand, but you're like literally having a card in your book just to have it because it's just sitting there collecting dust and something's wrong. Uh, the Torexes are new. And here's another thing I don't like about trading. If, you, if you're a new player and you walked up in a trade store and you and let's just put let's just say hypothetically all your cards are worth a dollar and you need one card for your deck that's sixty dollars would you literally trade all sixty of your one dollar cards would you trade thirty of your two dollar cards would you trade twenty of your three dollar cards would you trade uh four of your um fifteen dollar cards five of your uh twelve dollar cards Six or ten dollar cards and stuff, just so you people, just so you can get what you need. You're dishing out too many cards just to get something you need, and the person that you're trading them to is gaining more cards than you, whereas you lost more cards, therefore hindering your trade book, therefore preventing you from getting future trades if you if you come across those type of people. So, if people will just trade by what is needed, like a one for one or two for one trade or vice versa then trading my price shouldn't be needed because if you trade two cards for one, okay, then you're losing one card, which is relatively all right. But if you're sitting there dishing out 13 cards just to get three or 40 cards just to get one just because the price has to add up, then something's wrong with that. Like, every time I go to my locals, people always say, stop bitching and stop complaining. Every time I have something to say, but when it's their turn to say something, it's like I, I'm their dog and I got to shut up and listen to them because everything they say is right and my opinion doesn't matter to no one or or nothing. It's starting to piss me off because 
I go through this crap every week. Now, for all these, for all you out there, like, then why you continue to go there? Because I had nothing else better to do, really. If I had something better to do on a Friday, I would not be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! probably ever, or going to my locals. But being that I couldn't find nothing else better to do, I have to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, don't get me wrong, the game is fun, I love it. It's just, when it comes to money, and people who want to have fun can't enjoy the game because they can't get what they want, it's starting. It's irritating, because here I am sitting with the same trade stuff, the same decks, with the same cards in this binder right here. I had three of them. Then what am I supposed to do? I can't never get nothing new, so how can I make a new deck? Hurry on trying to get re three Reborn Tengus, and I can't even get those because they're 18 to $20 each. And I don't have, I ain't gonna sit there and trade 18 to $20 worth of cards just to get three of them. So I had to sit there and trade at least uh, 54 to $60 worth of cards just to get three Tengus. And that's pretty much I'm like one of these books just gone. And I ain't doing that. That's, that's just crap I'm talking about. If, if I want to get something I need, I have to dish out too many cards. And I'm not trying to deplete my trade stuff just to get stuff like that. I mean, I know y'all getting tired of me going on and on about this. But you have to, you have to understand where I'm coming from here. I'm just someone that wants to have fun with the game. Get cards you need to make the decks you want. And just continue on playing. But how can me or anyone else out there who can't afford money cards or stuff like that can get the new cards we need to make our decks? It's ridiculous. I was going to go over through all the books one more time, just in case y'all didn't see anything. Uh, look, the, the cards I'm looking for is my friend, Novamaster07, is looking for uh, two Stardust Dragons, two Red Dragon Archfiends, uh, a five-head dragon, and a Formula Synchro. That's what he's looking for. Um, PM, me, PM me if y'all have anything I'm looking for. This is not for trade. It's going to my friend, um, Marilyn Yugi, I think his name. Uh, the Mirage, uh, Infernity Mirage is going to him. Um... The cards I'm looking for is uh, Mechlord Emperor of Granel and Mechlord Emperor Skyo and Mechlord Emperor Weisel. I'm also look. Oh, sorry, I'm also looking for um. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What is it? What is it? Uh, uh three reborn Tengus, please. Cause I got this idea for our Tengu Tornado Hero deck. It uses a. Uh, well, I ain't gonna tell you what it does. Well, no matter. People are gonna figure it out and copy it anyway. I'm looking for, uh, I don't know if anyone has any rare hero kids. And, uh, what else am I looking for? Uh, I need three Veil of Darknesses. I need, uh, I don't know, I don't know if I already mentioned the three Rainbow Dark Dragons. I need those. I need, uh, Lone Fire Blossoms and Titanials. I need one more Botanical Lion and, uh, Mark of the Roses. I'm just trying to name cards that I need to complete my decks. Um, I need two more super rare deck devastation viruses. I prefer the hollow ones. Um, that's this book. I'm trying to name them as I go on because there's a lot of cards I'm actually looking for. I'm looking for uh, uh, two Summoner of Illusions. Got this pretty nice idea for a deck with them. Uh, I'm looking for XYZ monsters. Uh, mainly, well, anyone really in particular. Because uh, I like to collect those because I want to keep, I want to get three of each one. Because I can have something to, like the, a variety to choose from when I go make my Evil Hero deck. Because since they only have like two fusions in there, I'm trying to fill, fill, fill the rest of the space with XYZs. Because being that they're not specific at the moment, they're pretty easy to throw in any deck. But the sad thing is, all decks are going to have the same XYZs in their deck anyway, so. Another card I'm looking for is, um, well, I don't know, I'm not, I can't, I can't remember all this stuff, guys, because as the times went on, my needs list got stacked on top of each other. So, it, it's pretty big. And the fact that the, every time the meta changes or every time the band list changes and I don't get the needs I want, it just keeps piling and piling and piling up to the point where I really can't remember everything I actually need. Oh yeah, I need three Volcanic Counters. I got an idea with those for E-Hero deck. It's not Volcanic Hero, guys, or um, Flames Vault E-Heroes. It's actually a pretty nice way to abuse Volcanic Counter. And uh, what else am I looking for? Um, Hang in there, guys. I'm sorry that I'm, I can't remember things on the top, off the top of my head, but I'm really trying. 
Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know if anyone got anything from Legendary Collection too. I'm looking for all the hero stuff out of there. And the Secret Rare Super Promisation, the Secret Rare Destiny Draw, the, um, the Hollow uh, Evil Hero Dark Gaia, the Hollow Electrum and Mud Ball Man, stuff like that. Oh yeah, and before the video is over, I'm going to say this and I'm going to say it once and one time only. So people out there who have a hard time with hearing stuff, no offense to the people who had that wear hearing aids. Now this is not towards them, so I dare no one say... Why are you talking about? Why are you making fun of those people? I just told you right now that I'm not making fun of no one with a hearing impaired, hearing impaired problem or something like that. I'm just pretty much saying that those people out there that are going to completely disregard everything I say right now. I do not trade by price. If anything is mentioned about price, your PM about trades will be ignored. It's simple as that. I don't have money cards to be trading, so don't deplete my stuff. This is all I have left. These three books you see right here is all the trade stuff I have left. Because if people trade by price, I'm, the, I'm severely depleted now. And this is the stuff I need to keep. These miners right here is full of stuff I need to keep. Because they're potential deck ideas. So, and people be like, you need to start trading cards out of there. Why would I trade cards that I need and then I'm going to kick myself in the ass when I need it later. Now they're going to get it again. So this is a solid no. But I mean, it's, I'm sorry people, but I, I'm, I have to be very strict when it comes to this stuff now. But... This that's the stuff I'm looking for. It's our uh, Rainbow Dark Dragons, uh, Veil of Darknesses, Volcanic Counters, the Mech Lord Emperor guys. Not the not the armies. Well, the only Mech Lord army I need is uh, Granol, but I need the Mech Lord Emperor Infinity guys. I need um, what else? Uh, X Y Z monsters. I need um, I'll just S P M you which X Y Z you have for trade. I'll tell you that I already have three of them or not. The only one I have three of currently is Gotcha Gotcha Gintetsu, and um. I need three reborn Tengus. Those things are like the ones I need the most. Because I got this really bad behind hero deck idea with them. I'm, I'm like dead serious. It's, it's crazy. And um, what else I looking for? Uh, I need hollow miracle fusions. I mean, I like I always like to collect those. Um, mainly the super and ultimate rares. I love them things. I need uh, uh, the hollow hero cards from the legendary collection. The only rare hero card I need is uh, the Destiny Mirage. Because when I, I looked at the whole list of that set and a lot of stuff that I thought was gonna come hollow can common, so I really don't care. I just want the hero cards that don't that don't come rare normally that do, which is so far I think it's Destiny Mirage, and I want the rest of the hollow hero stuff that I don't have like uh, the Super Promisation, the Evil Hero Dark Gaia, and the Destiny Draw and st stuff like that. So that's pretty much what I'm looking for, guys. Uh, I'll post in the description uh, all the cards I'm looking for. So please, before you ask questions, check the description because I can't stress that enough when people don't read anything and they just automatically comment and the answer has already been answered in the video or the description. So, like I said, I'm sorry for being so rude, guys. I really do apologize. It's just I'm really stressing a lot. This game has just been really hard for me to stay in and handle. So just, just bear with me here. Uh, you, Like I said, you guys are always the ones that keep me in the game. Uh, shout out to... Uh, um, Zero the Hedgehog, uh, I think your name was 50 Asami or something like that. Sorry that I got your name wrong, but uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Kid, don't forget my two, my uh, uh, favorite guys, uh, Emma Blue Eyes and Dark Retrition. Got a shout out to you too. Um, uh, oh yeah, by the way, Emma, um, a friend of mine, I don't know if you got the message, but a friend of mine wants you to see his uh, Blue Eyes deck that I posted up there. And a shout out to uh, I like Bernie. Uh, Epic Nova Fail, uh, Nova Master 07, uh, Asian Knight, uh, Eden Token, Team Big Time, Team Shining, all the teams on my team's page, and all the teams on my page, and all the stuff that I f that that, that they got jiggy with it and stuff like that, and you know the deal. Uh, peace out, dudes. I'm gonna stay in this game, don't worry, and uh, peace out.